Good evening, Richmond County, and welcome to your Thursday edition of Live at Five. I'm Russell Parker. Investigators with the Richmond County Sheriff's Office have charged a man and woman in connection with the death of their 19th month old child last month. According to the RCSO, the child was found unresponsive in its crib on September 24th and was unable to be revived. No other details were given. On Wednesday, October 5th, investigators charged the mother, 28-year-old Haley O'Neill Johnson, with one count each of voluntary manslaughter and felony child abuse inflicting serious injury, as well as two counts of misdemeanor child abuse. Investigators also charged 29-year-old Howard Lee Driggers Jr. with two counts of accessory after the fact. After having been pushed back a week due to Hurricane Ian, the Richmond County Chamber of Commerce is gearing up for its annual Hoptoberfest Craft Beer and Chicken Wing Festival at Rockingham Dragway. This year's event will feature more than a dozen brews on tap, according to Chamber President Christy Richardson King. While most of the craft beers from across North Carolina, there will be other domestics available. Many of the breweries have been staples of Oktoberfest, like Southern Pines Brewing Company and Dirtbag Ales out of Hope Mills. King said there were nine teams currently signed up for the Chicken Wing Contest, but the Chamber is looking to add a few more between now and Saturday. Cash prizes will be given out to the first through fourth place and People's Choice winners. A general admission tickets will still be available at the gate, which opens at 4 p.m. VIP ticket holders, as well as those attending the annual raffle at the Rock, can get in at 3. Businesses wanting to set up street sign for the city's semi-annual sidewalk festival have just a few more days to sign up. The Rockingham Downtown Corporation is asking merchants and vendors who want to be part of this month's affair on the square to respond by October 7th. The event, scheduled for 5 to 8 p.m. on October 13th, stretches along East Washington Street from the former Food King parking lot to the corner of Randolph down to Harrington Square and also includes Henry's Uptown Grill on Hancock Street and Hudson's Brother Deli on Lee Street. DJ Eric Whitfield will be on the corner of Hancock and Mel and Friends will be at the square. Hudson Brothers will have open mic and karaoke. There is no vendor fee, but organizers need to know who plans to come so they can assign spaces. And their final home meet of the season, the Richmond Senior Boys and Girls Cross Country teams earned second place for both teams on Tuesday. The 3.2 mile race was held at Henson Lake, Richmond's home course, and it was also senior night. Richmond honored three male and two female runners ahead of the competition. Head coaches Ashley Bowie and Morgan Tedder thank each of the runners for their contributions to the program over the last several years. Also running were fellow conference schools, the Union Pines and Scotland, with both Union Pines teams winning the meet. Scotland's two squads each took third overall. Taking on a full round of golf, sophomore Jason McRae battled a difficult course on Tuesday. The lone member of the Richmond Senior Golf team for the girls participating, McRae competed against other conference golfers at the Country Club of Whispering Pines. McRae shot a 142 during the 18-hole match, posting a 70 on the front nine and a 72 on the back nine. Head coach Keith Parsons said it was a very tough course at the Country Club, which is reflected in the scores. McRae's teammate Ella Munn did not participate in the match due to running with the cross-country team at Henson Lake. Although the course proved difficult, Parsons expressed his pleasure with McRae's progress during just her third high school match. Pinecrest won the match with a team score of 232. The Lady Rare golf team will close out its regular season with its final match next Monday at Pinehurst No. 6. More than 80 minutes of action was needed to decide a winner during Wednesday's conference soccer match. Rallying late on the road at Hope County, the Richmond Raiders couldn't hold on to their lead and lost 3-2 in extra time. Hope County took a 1-0 lead in the game's opening 10 minutes, finding the net near post following a missed tackle. Head coach Chris Larson said the Bucks controlled the tempo for much of the first half, but the Raiders' defense stood tall to take a one-goal deficit into the break. The Raiders, who have lost three matches in a row, will travel to Union Pines on Monday. Play will begin at 7 p.m. When we return, we've got your Live at Five weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. My name's Jason Ganey. I'm a candidate for Richmond County Commissioner. I'm born and raised here in Richmond County, a graduate from Richmond Senior High School. I believe the path forward is clear for Richmond County, but I'll need your help. 
First, I'll need your prayers. Pray that I would be an honorable servant of the community. Pray that I would listen to the community members and find out their heart and their desire for their future. And this November, vote. Vote for me, Jason Ganey, to help secure the path forward for our community. God bless you. Thank you. Excuse me, what is your name? I've seen you somewhere before. I'm Reverend C.F. McDowell III. I'm the pastor of First Presbyterian Church in Fairmont. Have you been to my church? No, but I know where I've seen you, on the Richmond Observer. That's right. I am the host of the new feature on the Richmond Observer called Richmond Observes, and I want to help you observe why Richmond County is so rich. It's the people. And through some casual conversations, I want to introduce you to some folks from the everyday walk of life in Richmond County. So join me, C.F. McDowell III, for Richmond Observes on the Richmond Observer. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. And welcome to your live five weather Porsche County. I hope your Thursday is going well. Once again, another nice day here in the Sand Hills. Lots of warm weather going around this afternoon. Start off pretty chilly, but warmed up really quickly. We've gotten all the way up into the 80s today. It's been a while since we've seen that temperature on the board. Uh, it won't be around for much longer, though, as we do have a little bit more warmer day tomorrow, but after that, it starts to drop off. We'll get to that here in just a minute. I'm talking about tonight, 6 o'clock, 76 degrees, 10 o'clock, 62. It'll be clear skies all night tonight with a sunset at 6.56 p.m. And it'll be a wax and give us moon phase out tonight as well. Take a look at the forecast for tomorrow. Back into the 80s once again with some low 80s on the board here. Cumberland County, a high of 82, low of 58. Hope County, a high of 82 and a low of 57. Over in Robeson County, a high of 83 and a low of 58. With Scotland, a high of 84 and a low of 58. Up in Moore County, a high of 81, a low of 55. Here in Richland County, we'll be seeing a high of 83 and a low of 57. Same for Anson County and Marble, one degree warmer on the high and low. Now, taking a look at the forecast for the next seven days. Again, tomorrow, 83 for the high, 57 for the low. We'll be dropping down 10 degrees on Saturday. Party cloudy skies, high of 73, low of 47 for that day. And continuing on with the 70s and 40s for the highs and lows for the rest of the week. Sunday, party cloudy skies, high of 70, low of 49. Monday, high of 72, low of 48, and Tuesday will be a high of 72 and a low of 47. Continuing on party cloud skies into Wednesday and Thursday, Wednesday will be seeing a high of 73 and a low of 49, with Thursday the high of 74 and a low of 83. So overall, not too bad uh, for the temperatures ahead. Of course, we are in the middle of that part of the year where you gotta wear that uh, hoodie at the beginning of the uh, day. By the end of the day, you're shutting that off back into your t-shirts. 
So that's going to do it for your Live 5 weather report and for tonight's edition of Live at 5. For the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Rich County.